in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Bonjour everyone. Hello folks, welcome to Caravan Corner again. It's that time again and you know what this week is. Yes, the big reveal. The before and after of our Chateau French farmhouse bedroom. Yeah, it's been a good week this week. Uh, Very busy. We've got a lot of intricate <coughs> stuff done. Uh, I've done all the trims for the uh, windows, put the seating uh, boxes in uh, with nice oak uh, mm. quarter sawn and it was some English oak I had that I brought over with me. <coughs> Um, me. And it's a nice match with the French oak windows. I uh, made the mantel for over the fireplace Architect. in a, a nice brown oak, very dark oak. Uh, I finished off the trim around the bottom of the fireplace um, and obviously the cove in we yeah. done and all the other bits. We've, That's all been done. All it was the all, painting. all small stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, all little jobs and we actually ticked every single thing off our list that we had on the yeah. wall, which was really good. Yep. But as you'll see, um, the bedroom looks absolutely beautiful. It really does, doesn't it? The paper is so beautiful, everything, the windows, the fireplace, all the woodwork, it's so beautiful. But as you will see, um, we haven't got any flooring down at the moment because we're still looking at where we're going to go for carpet or we're going to go for oak flooring. Well, you said the carpet we liked. Yeah, the one. Yeah, but it's that's in the U. Yeah, it's like it's a, a core matting, core mat carpet. Up, yeah, which I think will be hard wearing for a farmhouse. Yeah. But um, also, um, I haven't made the blinds yet, but everything's on order. The soft furnishings. Slacking. Yes, yeah, slacking. But no, there was nowhere that wasn't dust free to work. No. Um, also, all the um, bed linen I have to buy new. I'm going to reupholster the bench, which, which you'll see. So, as the room looks now, it's only what I've tried to make it look nice, yeah. obviously, for camera. And we may be getting a four poster bed. We don't know yeah. yet. We're looking at the moment. Well, the four poster bed, hopefully, we can get. We're looking for a size, a particular size, so we can fit our mattress onto king it. King size, isn't it? Uh, which is a king size, not a double, double or the big one, is it? Yeah. I can't remember. It was no, just... double. You have a queen size. You have a single queen size, then a double, then and a then I think a king size, and then a super king. Yeah. But we love anyway, our mattress, don't so we? So we went for that. We want to try and match our mattress. Uh, try and match our mattress to the bed. Yeah. So we're keeping the dimensions. We're looking, um, <clears throat> but. This, this week we wanted to reveal this to you because it's all the uh, the structural side, side of the job and yeah. you know finishing off the paper and the painting and everything that's yeah. done. Obviously like Tracy said the furnishing side of it is uh, going to come yeah, and like what we're going to do is... As well. We haven't got the furniture, we want to get a nice yeah, new we'll bring mirror them over, and, but yeah. What we want to do is as well, we're going to give you another reveal but we're not going to let you see the bedroom no more now until no. we get all the furnishings and everything we want to to that standard and then we'll give you the the, the bionic reveal at the end if you understand but what's the good news Go we're on. going to be sleeping in the farmhouse yeah proper bed <laughs> oh, i can't wait <laughs> can't wait we missed no our more bed. back aches waking up in the morning <laughs> i mean i must admit the caravan hasn't been that bad has it no. you you know what the end result's going to be so sometimes you have to have these sacrifices yeah. and they're very small aren't they yeah. to i mean this one's about the same size as a, as a prison cell, I think. <laughs> Didn't really think and it feels like you've been in prison for two no, years. I've not nearly. actually been inside a prison <laughs> no. or a prison no, cell. No, no, no. But um, it's it's it, it's funny enough. We got really cosy in here, didn't we? Yeah. I know we want to get out or get 50, into our beds, 50. but it did get cosy because it was really so quick, quick and yeah. convenient. Everything you can get up and get on, like you know. And, and, and the uh, winters we adapted to yeah. because we don't we're not the type of people that have our central heating no. on do we we'd rather it be a little bit cooler i think the worst time in here was when we got covid yeah that was the hardest time we for us because for it was cold uh and 
you're trying to cope with the COVID and get through it mm. uh, without whinging on, just get done and dusted and out of the way. We did that, but that was quite hard, wasn't it? Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're in a confined space. Yeah. You? But anyway, going off that, that's negative. But, um, what we were going to say is as well, you'll notice that we're going to give you a before and after. The video will be purely from the start of the bedroom. There's a new yeah. floor, but all the earlier footage was what we did on Instagram, not for YouTube. Yeah, so it'll be pictures. Yeah, it'll be all Early pictures. pictures. So you'll see pictures of me standing up on the uh, joist where I'm putting in new joist or taking out the old joist, whatever they'll be. Sitting on the throne. And then Tracy was sitting on the throne, the old toilet that was in there and things like that. But they were just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't just about decorating the bedroom. You know, we had to <coughs> literally build the whole floor. Uh, match it up to to suit the staircase. I had to make sure all the lines were right, so it got in with the staircase for the last tread. Yeah, um, and then they're getting the levels as well because we had beams underneath. Yeah. We had to connect them to it, and so on and so forth. So there was a lot of work that you wouldn't see yeah. and understand. There's a lot to of it. work. And it's been a lot of work and also the bedroom has been dragging on for a while but mm. we'll be doing lots of other jobs you know obviously making windows but doing other jobs around the property finishing the point in that our necessity and, and yeah. uh, dropping off onto the road i've been doing a work on the road as i told you last week and uh putting the banking up and it, and it just one thing after another pulls you away and another thing that pulls us away a lot which is a good thing i think is the uh socialization you know, we've got some lovely friends around here. We've got brilliant French neighbours just here. Can I say what happened? Uh, yeah, so yeah right. we went to Adam and Philippa's with um, Lionel and Valerie. We that went... was in the last a couple of videos ago. Yeah. I gave you a tour of Adam's house. Adam's house. Have a look and at he's that one. been in our videos a few times. And they invited us all over for dinner. And Adam made a lovely risotto. And we had a lovely evening. Lovely evening, yeah. But Lionel came up with the idea, why don't we have a competition Francais against Anglais? So and um, we thought, yeah, we'll be up for that because we're quite competitive. <laughs> yeah, and um, we played um, ping pong ball machine. Adam's got one. Lionel came first. I came second. Yeah. Then we played darts. Me and you won that. We won the darts. And then football table or table football, I think they call it, don't yeah, they? Table France? football. They thrashed us. They thrashed. <laughs> right but, but that's like in normal but, football but that was that made it a two all didn't it in the yeah. end so we were two all right and then we got to the pool table and of course and uh ha la la mummy and daddy won <laughs> and uh we, we just we beat them on the pool so we went three three two up and we england won but we they've challenged us this weekend this sunday we've got to go to their house because they've set up their ball uh, uh peton ball game uh french game in the garden and uh we are having another competition because I don't think they like losing. <laughs> I think I think if there's females out there, they will agree with me. Because yeah. women can be competitive. I can if it's something I, I want to win yeah. bad enough. But um, I think men are a lot more competitive. And when we dropped Lionel and Valerie off last Saturday evening, um, they congratulated us, Lionel. He said, but this is not the... F not the end. Yeah, this is not the end. He said the finale patog, but we know he's yeah. been practicing because yeah. they've been practicing over there, right? So we've been working away hard at it and getting this ready for you guys, and they're practicing the patog before we get a chance to have a practice. Well, but our, we don't need it. We'll be all right. Ours <laughs> is in the UK, so we'll we, try and film a bit of that. Actually, yeah, we maybe. will. But anyway, so, guys. We're going to give you this reveal uh, of the bedroom. I think it's been long waited. You know, a lot of you want to see the paper and the woodwork finished. And uh, but just else. bear in mind, there isn't no carpets yet or flooring, no. and there isn't no um, soft, furnishings. soft furnishings and a few other bits furniture. of furniture. But you get to see the general gist. Yeah. Throw your ideas at us. Tell us what you think. Uh, you know, and also, uh, you know, suggestions because whether we take them on board or not, we read them and it's, yeah. it gives us ideas and helps us, doesn't it, as well? Yes, and also our Patreons, um, they got a sneaky peek yes, they got the sneaky view. paper as well. So there's been some positive comments, and we like to thank all our Patreons again for yep. following us on our journey. Uh, for, uh, that's it, it's brilliant and supporting us. When, this channel. You, when you watch the video, don't forget to give it a like. Press the subscribe button and share with your yeah. friends because that really, really it really help helps us. Um, if you can, you know, just even if you, you know, jump on board and become a subscriber, yeah, that would um, be brilliant. And you know, and you get the notifications, you get to see our videos. Yeah, uh, we are still on just quickly. We're still on the uh, rubbishy internet at the moment. Yeah. We're just getting by with that, so we have to go and get this downloaded somewhere else. But 
once we do get that downloaded we're going to hopefully do two or three even videos every week for you yeah. so you know we've got lots of ideas we've started on the cottage and there's other things to happen here yeah. uh, the kitchen extension when it comes and so on and so we'll forth workshop the, for the barn's going to be done so it's just yeah. going to go on and on and on for a few years anyway guys i've got to go have Thank a good you. week and weekend and and we'll let you know how we get on in the bowl. The yes, bowl. The, the bowl. <laughs> bowl. bowl. I said bowl. <laughs> bowl. Bye. Bye.
So by now you would have seen the uh, finished room, well, mainly finished room, <coughs> bar some uh, carpet and uh, wall dressings, uh, window dressings, sorry. But I just wanted to show you this, you might be interested. Look at the amount of scribing I've got to do on each of these uh, architraves. So, carpenter will appreciate what I'm saying here. And it's in oak as well, which makes it a bit more difficult. Um, so you can get like a nice edge down the wall. This one ain't fi fixed yet. I've just uh, I've got to push it back and uh, lock it in, if you like, because uh, put some pins in there and fix it. But I want to put some insulation in behind that first. Um, but that gives it a nice effect around the window that finishes that trim off lovely down onto the nose in and then onto the seal i'm just doing that one over there now and then this one here so this one has to go back that way a bit more um, but it's all uh carpentrickery remember that word carpentrickery <laughs> uh just show you that again look so that's the amount of a uh, scribe I've got to put in each timber that I've made. I've just made these um, uh, architraves. So you've got some lovely detail on there. If you can look closely, I'll show you down the end. So lovely panel mold, then down and on onto this little, uh, sorry, onto this little bead, cock bead. Anyway, would be interested in that. Tracy's forging on over here. She's uh, she's painted all the little brackets up that originally were in here to hold all the implements for the uh, wood fire or stove, wood stove. I think it would have been an open fire originally. And then I've uh, selected the darkest, uh, let me show you this, do you like this? This is the overmantel I've made for the, uh, for the granite. And I selected the darkest brownest oak, which is so beautiful. It's very hard oak, lovely. Um, and uh, just put a couple of coats on there of my uh, special mix. Just got to do one more, and that's finished. And uh, Tracy's also polished all these up. They had all bits of paint and dirt over them. She's cleaned them up. She's been really busy with the cleaning. There you go, thought you'd be interested in that. So Tracy's uh, blackening the stove off. How are you doing it, Tray? I'm using, uh, well, in France it's called zebra line and it's a blackener for cast, cast iron. iron. Yeah. So you can see, look, where it's all dusty, but once you put the blackener on, it comes up lovely. And then what do you do? Do you, like, would you put it on, just I'll give just it a little say, buff? Yeah, what I'm gonna do is just, once I've finished, It'll all be dry, it dries near enough instantly, um, and then I'm going to just give it a good bath. Yeah, uh, just have a little look. Yeah, it looks nice when it's done, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks lovely. Do you, what was the stuff we used to use in England? Oh, it's similar, it's wasn't it? St stone blackener. It's exactly the same, is it? No, it was in like a, you know, the, like the Brasso. Yeah. You know, you get the silver cleaner. It was like in a little tub like that. All oh, right, yeah. But I use a toothbrush. Yeah, it's better with a toothbrush, it, isn't it? In, can't you? But that's going to look lovely when that's in. Yeah, that would look beautiful. All you do is uh, you heat it up, which we'll do in the uh, winter now when it's... Not now. <laughs> no, no, it's too hot now. It's about 28, 30 degrees out there at the moment. Um, but we'll heat it up and that will sort of cook it off and harden it onto the uh, stove. And then you just do it once a year. Anyway, guys. Ciao, ciao. Right, we thought we'd give you a little sneaky peeky. Budo started the wallpaper. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? It's absolutely, it's actually nicer, isn't it, when it's hanging? Yeah. The detail is absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you. Look at the birds, all the colours. It's actually got the texture like linen. It actually looks yeah, like linen. Little... Yeah. Yep, so you're pattern matching. Just patching it up. I'm sure if when you do important to get the uh, the start right <clears throat> so it's just a tad down yeah there you go 
Beautiful. Lovely and vibrant, isn't it? I love the turquoise greens, blues, turquoise greens, blues, like a teal blue, isn't it? Let me just go. Did you work your way down? <coughs> Be quick, I'll have this done in an hour. Well, you won't be getting dinner until it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm rushing it so I can have some beer. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, who's just checking the patterns in line? Yeah. But this is fantastic paper, it's so well made. I was just going to say that. How are you finding using it? Beautiful. I suppose you pay for what you get. I don't mean that in a funny way, don't you, yeah. sometimes? When I've been looking for paper and that, I've read reviews and they've not been very good. Just going to give me a sponge, where is it? People have said, like, the, the, the nice colours come off as well. Just touch it down, Joy. Just touch it down. Just touch it down. Must be cleaned up. And then just check all the joints are up. What you want it to do is look seamless when it's yeah. done, yeah, so you don't see these joints too well. I'm pretty happy with that. It's the same, isn't it, when you make curtains and blinds, you can't see the joints, so it's that it's that good pattern match, isn't it, that comes That's with it, experience. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just want to show them. This is my favourite bird. Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, I'm looking forward to making blinds for this. Lovely.